Welcome to Paripurna Academy. We welcome you for the online session to listen about the topic on body fluids and circulation. So whenever we talk about body fluids, it's normally associated only with the blood system. So here we are going to see about the circulatory system and what are all the components or the organs or the vessels which support the circulatory system and the function and the working of heart and finally certain type of diseases which affects the circulatory system along with the working graph of the heart mechanism. This is what we are going to see in this chapter. Shall we go into that? So body fluid and circulation. So introduction of this chapter normally includes the deep circulatory system which comprises of your heart, arteries and the arteries and finally the capillaries. So all this, all this arteries, you know what is artery? Artery is nothing but which carries the oxygenated blood to the all parts of the body from the heart and veins is nothing but they always carry the deoxygenated blood from the heart to the purification. And this is what your arteries and the vein. And the arterioles are nothing but they normally have the connection of the blood to the capillary bed. And the capillaries are nothing but where the exchange of blood between the tissue and the uh, oxygenated part happens. So all these arteries, veins, arterioles and the capillaries connected to a muscular pump which is made up of the cardiac muscle which we call it as the heart and that we totally describe it as the circulatory system. So this circulatory system is mainly of two types that is single circulation and double circulation. So whenever you talk about the single circulation it is nothing but the blood flows through only the heart that is only one type of circulation alone will happen in the particular type of the heart. That we call it a single circulation. So whenever you talk about the double circulation, the blood flowing through the heart the twice the time. That we call it as double circulation. So for the single circulation, you can take the example of the invertebrates, which you can see it in the image, the first part of the image. That is underdeveloped organism where only one type of the circulatory fluid happens. Where is the double circulation? You can take the example all of your amphibians and the reptiles and including the mammals. So this is about the circulation type. Okay, so this based upon this you will be learning about the hepatic portal system which is coming at the end of this session. Clear? And this is the basic classification of the circulation type. And now we are going to classify the circulation based upon the transportation medium. So there is another type of classification under the circulatory system based upon the transportation medium which is nothing but your water vascular system and the blood vascular system. So whenever you take water vascular system, in this the circulation the main medium is always the water. So water is the connective media for the circulatory system. Example, it all includes all the primitive uh, uh, sea land uh, animals, which is nothing but your sponges. Then comes your blood vascular system, which is nothing but the transportation medium is always the blood. So this normally starts or originated from the well-developed arthropods, that is from your insect variety. Clear? Under this blood vascular system, they have been normally classified into two types, that is open circulatory system and the closed circulatory system. So you know what is open circulatory system? When the blood flow through the vessels open up into the tissue space, that is simply the body surface if it absorbs the blood, then it is open circulatory system. Closed is nothing but it flows through the closed chamber called the heart and from the heart it is being distributed, that blood is being distributed to the all parts of the body. That we call it as the closed circulatory system. So this are, these are the two subdivisions which comes under the blood vascular system. Are you clear with that? So next, next we are going to see about the heart types or simply the types of the heart. So that is being normally classified into three origins. So one is the classification based upon the type of the blood which is being observed by the heart. 
So one is venous heart, that is it receives the deoxygenated blood. Next is arteriovenous heart, that is it receives the deoxygenated blood from the body and supplies the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the other parts of the body. So that is arteriovenous heart which is being present in all amphibians. Okay, so the venous, venous heart is normally will be present for all the uh, 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 animals which is having more venom. Okay, so next, on the basis of origin of impulse, so we know what is impulse, nothing but the heartbeat. So based upon the origin of that heartbeat, it is being classified into two types, that is mycogenic and neurogenic. So if a heartbeat is originated from the muscle, then it is said to be mycogenic simply like our mammals and neurogenic is nothing but the heartbeat which is being originated from the nerves this includes all the animals from your cordate family clear so next classification is the classification on the basis of heart type classification on the basis of the structure so that is being classified into four types that is tubular heart that is tubular means it contains the chambers which are more in number when compared with the even well developed mammals. So totally 13 chambers in one particular heart. So example may be your cockroach. Clear? Then pulsating vessels. Pulsating vessels are nothing but it, it absorbs the blood through the body surface itself. So such type you call it as Pulsating vessels. So, example may be your annelids, which is nothing but your earthworm variety. Next is your chambered heart. Whenever you talk about the chamber, it is two chambered or three chambered or four chambered. That is completely developed mammals and the vertebrates and the mollusks have this chambered heart. Then, ampullar accessory heart, which is nothing but it consists of the heart of octopus, insects, and the heart of the frog. So. These are the type of the heart based upon the structure, how it is being present in each and individual type of the organs. Clear? So next we are going to see about heart. So what is heart, where it is being located and what are all the regions it is having, that is what we are going to see. Shall we? So heart is nothing but, it is always the muscular organ which is being present in the mediastinal space surrounded by the pericardial cavity. We know what is cavity. Cavity is nothing but a hollow space. And that heart which is being present in the pericardial cavity is always surrounded by the pericardium. Clear? So it is always surrounded by the pericardium. So it contains arteries which is being divided into right and the left artery. And the ventricle again same it is being divided into right and the left ventricle. So in this image you can see. So here on the uh, on the left side of your see whenever you are standing you can see that on the uh, left side you can see the right atrium and the right ventricle present and on the either side of the opposite left atrium and the left ventricle is always present. So you have to keep it in the mind that right atrium is responsible. Right atrium and the um, what right atrium and the uh, left atrium is always your right side of the heart is responsible for carrying the deoxygenated blood and your left side of the heart